Afu is one of the scariest imposters in Among Us, and it's because no one can tell whether she's crewmate or she's an imposter. I do not want to vote out Hafu because I know I'm crew. Hafu convinces the crew that she's one of them by using these three different principles that I call the Krufu strategy. And that's what I'll be covering in today's video. <laughs> Sorry, I got him voted out when I was imposter and he was crew. And I think uh, that always feels bad. But I'm pretty good at building narratives. The first thing we're going to be covering is narratives. And what Hafu really means by this is she's really good at storytelling. And we all know how strongly a good story can make us feel. Hafu is aware that every single person has a narrative while they're playing their own game. Everyone is the main character of their own story. Imposters and crewmates both have narratives of what they did that day, who they saw, and why they're innocent or why they're sus of other players. A narrative structure pretty much has two sides to it. Number one, the timeline for the round, and then all the rounds added together. This is pretty much the physical things that happen and kind of everybody's story for what they did that round. And then number two, who is sus? And really what I mean by this is everybody's dynamics. Like who do you think is clear? Who do you think is sus? And who do other players think is clear and sus? Now by knowing this structure, Hafu can create narratives and stories based on previous rounds. Afu's imposter narrative is so powerful because no matter what, she's always playing the crewmate. She spends time faking tasks, she spends time with other crewmates to get vouches, and she always votes with the crew no matter what. Hafu is extremely patient and does whatever it takes to be known as the crewmate. And she also knows how powerful emotions are and how people can be swayed to make the wrong decision because you made them feel strongly enough about it. We're gonna start off directly in the middle of this game. Now for a bit of context real quick, Moonit put some sus onto Hafu in the earlier rounds. He was on cameras and he said she was looking for kills and not doing any tasks. And this round, we only have six people alive. And Hafu's imposter partner, Bloody, gets caught here. Let's watch how Hafu plays this round like the crewmate and flips Moonit's sus right back onto him. Is that electrical? What's up? No, I don't think so. I just saw him in electrical and I walked out, so... No, I was, um... Bloody's a killer. What? Bloody's a killer? So I ran up to O2, it? Nagura and Hafu were, fi uh, were fixing it. You guys saw me, right? Mm -hmm. Coming to, like, mm -hmm, shop. Mm -hmm. um, and I ran up from shields. I then ran back down and on the corridor, I run straight past B Bloody and then the body is in shields. Are you sure you're not thinking of somebody else here? <laughs> no. That's not a great no, defense, I, Bloody. No, 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 no. I, I ran past Nash. Um, yeah, no, I was walking. I saw DK in electrical when I left. I went up for O2 emergency. I passed Nash, and then DK's dead. It's All right, bad. well, I guess, like, the girl it makes was with me, like, me to stab him most of the over. time. I was in Nav when she came, but she came from the top side. So I think she's good. Yeah. Uh, Sven and Muna, where are you guys? I ran left side map. I set an admin table. I said two people electrical, so I started to run to Met Bay, assuming someone's gonna kill and vent over. Uh, I didn't see anyone. I ended lower engine. Okay, that's that's a lot of I info. I am right Muna. outside of electrical, by the way. Okay. I'm kind of sorry. It's the first game. I'm kind of I'm kind of slow right now. Wait, so Dicky's body is where? It's in shields, like shields comms. I mean, it's either Nash. Are you sure it's bloody? Otherwise, it's like a vent yeah. kill by either oh, Minute or Sven. Sure I think bloody. Sven is crew. He's given so much info this game. It's very crew. Who do you think it is, Hafu? Uh, I think it's for bloody. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I think it's, it's a if it's, yeah. I think bloody? it's just Nash. I'm gonna like, go for uh, bloody. Like, Nash, Nash or walked bloody? Past what me. do you guys think? Na Nash walked past me and then reported. Do you not right? want to vote like, for bloody, Minute? Just did the kill. I don't I know. Mean, I'm... Do you want to vote Nash? I'm I'm doubting. Okay, I'm gonna vote bloody here. I think Moon is just incriminated himself as well, by the way. No, no, no. I was just, I was just yeah. trying to beat Hafu out because I still don't trust her from last round. I also think it's Hafu. But she's trying to vote with Crew, so that's why she's asking, I, I believe. I'm um, trying to vote for Crew so we don't lose. Ben, any danger of a vote, mate? Are you trying yeah, to vote for uh, Crew? I'm like on, on the edge, them? I don't know. You said, oh, no, never mind. Hafu immediately calls out Bloody. Her partner got caught and she knew it, so she uses the opportunity to sound extremely Crew. Remember, Nash is the one who got bloody out. Afu didn't reveal or betray her imposter partner at all. 
All she really did was read the situation very quickly and realize that no matter what she does, Bloody's probably gonna get voted out this round. So what she does is hops on top of it. Get that opportunity to sound as crew as possible. After that, she checks with all the other crew to find out what everybody's thinking, and immediately, Moonit tries to bait Hafu into voting Nash. But because Hafu was very early to call out Bloody, it just backfires on Moonit instead. You can see how Hafu plans from the beginning to be the crewmate, and when people try to suss her out, it ends up backfiring on them because of how crew she looks. Let's watch how Hafu slow plays the next round, and she actually uses sabotages this time to look like the crewmate. All right, I waited with reporting the body, uh, but you guys are all in electrical right now. Yes. I was first. This is literally, this is literally underneath the table. Nash oh, came second and Moonit came in last. Did you stay there the whole round now, Fu? Because I already no. saw you before. I went to the left engine. Honestly, I, I might have just been Moonit at that point coming in late. Yeah. Wait, why do you think it's me, Sven? Uh, just because you came to the reactor, like, literally I was 10 I seconds I'm after it got fixed, and now you're last, the light's doing, there's a body in admin. It's it's because I did my last task in, in navigation on the right so side. I, so I think we skipped though. No, you, did that, yep. you did that ages ago, Moonet. I saw you do that. No, I did. did I literally I did you. it when. I watched you do the wires outside, like right at the start of the round. It wasn't wires though. I had to drag the thingy in the middle of the screen. That's my last task. In yeah, but what I'm saying is you would have done it when you were there. I'm skipping anyways, obviously. So take a look at that. Afu calls the sabotage and she's the first one to show up to fix it two times in a row. Luckily for her, Moonit also happened to be the last at both sabotages as well. From Nash's point of view, he got the first killer out and Hafu backed him up immediately. On top of that, she's fixed every sabotage first and Moonit keeps trying to throw sus on her even though he's the one who's always showing up late. All Hafu has to do now is kill Sven and win the game and reinforce the narrative she's been pushing since the beginning. Yeah, it's Hafu, I knew it, I oh knew it. Oh my god. Ah, uh, I freaking know it. I should have pushed harder on it. Now Nash is not going to believe me and it's over. God it's, damn it. It's just Moonit here. Yeah, sure thing. Oh, Nash, shit. Nash, rem remember? Remember when I said before that I saw Hafu run through Nash's, admin, through medbay, not Nash's doing a single crew. task? No. Uh, you got busted yeah, so hard on the last one. The last and you, you kept pushing on me. I, I even... How did I get busted? I was the Nash, first Nash, to Nash. back Nash up that it was bloody. I was like, bloody, that story is... Shit. <laughs> I voted her. Nah, you were right away. You were asking you were asking who we were gonna vote. No? I, tried I backed to up Nash oh, right well. away. Moonit, you Moonit, you did that. Yeah, exactly. You did, did that. What? Yeah, I asked I asked half I tried baiting her because she I knew she no, was. No, because you wanted me to vote before. you wanted me to vote for Nash. Of you from this no, Nash. He, he wanted me to move for, questions. Vote for you. Nash and Nash, listen, please, please, please. You saw me do wires, you say, right? Alright, I'm voting Moonit, huh? obviously. Then he you faked should either have again. seen, hold on, you, you should have seen a meeting got called, or I, I should have finished the task, I don't know, but if I did wires and nav, I would have finished the other task, that's true, but I believe a meeting got called, or I had to go somewhere else, I don't know, um, yeah, all I can say is, I'm 100% sure it's oh. Hafu, she Nash, literally you know, you know what her to do, in dude. front of me. I don't know if I do, Hafu. What? Dude, Muna Nash, asked, please, please. Muna, to Muna was trying she to get this. me to vote for she you. What do you mean? I didn't lead. She leads conversations. You did, you did lead before, but half of you asked us where you where you're, uh, all no, of us No, I were. said I saw Nash. I think his story was right. I called bloody story out to be bullshit right away. I'm the only one who questioned you. Oh That's my right, god, Muna. Nash, come on, bro. Damn, I don't know if I fucked it or not. I know I, know. I was already in a bad position there. That was. I, I should have ran for the button. I should have ran for the button. You fucked up, bro. Damn it. <laughs> oh, Hafu, God. that is a YouTube. That is That ah. was a genius game right there. When it comes to logic versus emotion, many people understand that humans are both logical and emotional. But what you may not realize is that all of the decisions you make are powered by emotion. Neuroscientist Antonio Diamasio conducted studies on people with brain damage to their prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is a part of your brain in charge of interpreting emotions. The doctor's studies revealed that these people could not make even the most simple decisions. They could come up with the logic, they could come up with the reasons why they needed to do it, but they lacked the emotional machinery to actually go through with it. 
What this means is that even if you bring a ton of logic and facts, a person won't actually make the decision unless they emotionally want to. And with this information in mind, we're coming full circle back to the beginning of the video because one of the most powerful tools to make humans feel emotion is through powerful storytelling. And as we showed in the first part of this video, Hafu is an expert storyteller. There's nothing more convincing than a good story, and no one tells a better story in Among Us than Hafu. But storytelling isn't the only trick in Hafu's emotional manipulation toolkit. She also uses gaslighting, flattery, marination, humor, and more. I can't think of a better clip to teach you guys how powerful emotions are other than Hafu using a 7900 IQ riddle to get a crewmate voted off immediately. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> well, I just saw it. I just saw Steve well, with Fiba. Uh, I just no, saw Steve no, with Fiba. No, 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 no. Yeah, Z, you okay, didn't okay. see DK there too. How do you Was... make? Okay, what do you happens when you mix blue with red? What happens? Uh, okay, there we go. Brown. Wait, oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Blue, I am red. Wait, I don't wait. know. Wait, Hafu, green I am red? so glad you're there. Otherwise, Z right in front of me. Blue and red. No, because I, I, yeah, I saw, right I, saw five, I saw five up in Steve like around admin wait. table a second ago. Wait, blue and red? Mm hmm. I've been counted as empty. I'm going, oh. I'm in specimen right now. I yeah, love purple. these little riddles. Yes, he's no one. Oh my god. Great. Wait, who said green? Oh, you guys didn't want to hear my defense. Green, green, <laughs> green is blue. You didn't want to hear my yellow. defense, huh? You don't need it. Seems like everyone was pretty certain about this. I like I'm, like I'm sorry, I like what we see. I love the red. Wait, I feel oh, I feel appreciated. Oh, I feel not even really hear the You guys were laughing so much. Alright, done, done, done. This is an awesome example of Hafu using emotions and storytelling or in this case, telling a joke or a riddle to quickly get everyone on her side and get everyone to vote out DK before he even has a chance to respond. Now to really show how powerful emotions are, we're gonna be taking a look at the end of a game titled Hafu's Oscar winning performance. Hafu has an extremely powerful narrative throughout this game that keeps her alive up until the very end. But we're gonna see what happens in a situation where the narrative completely falls apart. Hafu uses pure emotional gaslighting to clutch the victory. Oh, okay. His body's right by Admin. Okay, it's Banks. Wait, it is oh, actually man. Banks. Where? Where? Yikes. By admin. Yikes. Hafu, how's it me? Because I know it's not Teeny and Wolfabel, so this is why. Uh, I think it was just Yeti and Banks. Okay. What, wait, wait, what do you guys think? I want to hear what Teeny and Wolfabel think. I mean, I did see you and Teen weren't together. I went up, I left him, I went back down to go to lights. Okay, um, wait, okay, I have a few, I'm confused. Banks, where exactly was this body? Because I was just in that. It's thing. right, it's right by table, I was gonna hit button. What, like, uh, what side of the table? Right, right side, the right side. Okay, that might be why it wouldn't have come up. So, I mean, it could definitely be Banks. I'm a bit sus, I was a bit sus of Tinny, oh, only man. because of certain reasons. I know, I don't. I don't think it's Tinny. I don't think it's Tinny. It's 100% between No, Banks. there are so many crew it that were confirming Tinny. It no, only because, us. okay, I, I think she got right. to us late last round, right? Well, full, 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 don't throw this. It's not Tini. It's Am not I Tini. I, 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 okay, I'm okay. pretty sure it's can not Tini. Can I talk now? I reported the it's body. Okay, between okay, okay. I'll, take it. I'll take it. Can I just then... talk and give you guys my reason why? Also, you awesome. should know, I passed you. I was going to the left side. You were going to the right side. You should know this kill can't be me. It's not either of you mm. guys at all. And it uh. wasn't Yeti because the only possibilities was the reason why I pushed for Yeti to go last round. Now listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'll know. say this. I I voted for Blastoise and I pushed for Yeti. I pushed for Yeti because if he was in here with his teammate, he would have won. The only other possibility besides it being Yeti and one of you, Teeny or Dean is that it was Hafu and Bla Blastoise because you guys, four of you guys and two of you, Got cleared of the kill. Wolf electric. and Tini. So the kill you, you had thirty seconds. I get some. I get some time, right? Uh, yeah, 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 go. Okay. Um. So Yeti, it's Yeti and Banks, and Yeti was trying to set it up so Banks can win here. So here, yeah. I left Wolf and Dean at cams, and I made sure to be on cams like the whole time, right? I was like in mm. range of cams the entire time. I was around admin, and as soon as yes. Banks had a chance, it's Banks, dude. I voted Banks. Are you voted? What a yikes! We have. 
Good throw, guys. Well, it, I, it's hot. I'm pretty sure it's half the wolf of Really? There's lights yes. off, though. There's lights yes. off. I can't. I mean, I, can't I didn't really get to really talk. talk. I reported the body. I got to talk for 10 seconds. It's crazy. He got 30 seconds. Uh. I don't think I can do this. Holy shit. Oh, thank god, thank god, thank god. <laughs> oh, you almost threw! Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. She's in here chasing me in the life tree with <sighs> closed doors. Uh, <laughs> I've fixed lights. Oh, did you now? I was actually wrong, Wolf. Wait, you were actually right! Wolf, wolf, I'm so sorry! Wait, 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 wolf, 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 wolf. If I'm imposter... Wolf, wolf, no, wait, 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 wolf, wolf, wolf. If I'm Not imposter, if I'm imposter, I don't mm. even want the vote to go through because lights are off and I can't ever win. That's such a bad play. I fixed lights. That. I ran to lights. No, you didn't. You're of course chasing I... inside electric yes. and you closed doors on me. What? Wolf, please. No, don't Wolf, go. I fixed lights I've been and cleared no. by every crew in here. I, and I, miss, I miss cleared. Oh my god, I'm actually really sorry, Wolf. I called you. I was like, Wolf, don't and third imposter, well, and I no. third imposter, and I'm really, really sorry. That was, this is like that was my fault. Was that was actually gonna... my fault. I'm really sorry. Damn, Teeny, I didn't. I actually mm -hmm. didn't expect this. Mm -hmm. No, I actually no. didn't oh, expect fuck. this. Holy well, well, fuck. Well, 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 please. Oh. oh my god, please. Like, no, I've been no. It's Tini here. She's been it's actually no, not, I oh haven't. I, I haven't. Wolf, I was with you and D and D. Oh, about fixing lights. I ran down I the street down and she's, I she's pre -ran chasing me. And she's and I fixed them. And me. she's chasing me around. And I'm just begging for you to hit the button. No. Please vote No. Hockey. Well, if you save the like, game, now just let's win. Vote Teeny. Oh, I was so wrong. I was actually <laughs> so stupid, well, and I'm well, very well, sorry. If, if I I'm actually imposter, was so stupid, and you why were so I right. Why don't I vote Banks? No, Wolf. I, that was totally my fault. That was totally wolf, my fault. Wolf, 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 wolf. I mean, I, I oh think Kree's going to lose. I think Kree's going to lose now. This is so my fault. No, no, no. It's Teeny. It's actually Teeny. Yeah, you were you were so right. I'm actually so sorry. It's I'm teeny. So Every crew here is going to vote for Hafu. I'm actually so sorry. I'm actually so sorry. Guys, that's actually I will hot if I throw actually this. Okay. No, 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 it's totally my fault. It's totally my fault. Me. Like... And the Oscar goes to... Are you kidding me? That Why can I never... Hafu is the queen of gaslighting. Holy crew. shit. <laughs> I can't believe you. Like, I was... Like, like why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said I was like, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> that is I incredible. My... If you've watched a full video, you know how insane and impossible this win felt like at the time. It seems ridiculous that Wolfabelle voted wrong in that situation. But honestly, if you were to play the same game through Wolfabelle's perspective, it wouldn't seem as clear cut at all. Hafu manipulates Wolfabelle through gaslighting and acting submissive. Pay attention to a lot of the language she used and how her tone of voice completely changed at the end. When she was accusing Banks the round before, she was taking charge and trying to make everyone vote with her to support the narrative that she told. But once that narrative falls apart, she immediately submits to Wolfabelle and makes it seem like she was just wrong the entire time. Saying things like, Wolf, I called you a third imposter, but I'm the third imposter. Apologizing to her nonstop, calling herself wrong and stupid, saying, Wolf, you saved the game. And this is the power of emotions. Hafu makes Wolf feel her. So even against the evidence, the logic, the facts, Wolfabelle votes with Hafu. I do. No, you don't. Janet, you got this. <gasps> Janet, vote. <laughs> Am I just a simp? You, I'm, I'm a simp! Yep. I'm a simp! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, you know, I was hovering and you said, you got this? <laughs> Now, as funny as this clip is, Janet literally says she was hovering Hafu's name, and as soon as Hafu says, Janet, you got this, she switches it and votes H-bomb. Clips like this show us no matter what the facts are, emotions are so much more powerful when it comes to decision making. Now, as an imposter, knowing your win condition will take practice. What it comes down to is knowing when you're going down with the ship. You can use many tactics like blaming your imposter partner with your dying breath to get the sus off of them, or just killing enough people to win the game. But the main piece of advice I can give you from watching Hafu is to know when to kill and when to play passive. And it has to do with counting how many people are alive. 
And with that being said, this all has to do with when people will vote versus when they won't, and your best chances for getting wins based on kills since you're probably way too suspect to win the meetings. The key here is to leverage those times when crewmates most likely won't vote. This is on 7 and on 4. Crewmates are willing to vote almost every other round of the game, which means it's very strong to self-report on 7 and on 4. Or just kill and then don't kill again, go get an alibi, just wait for the bodies to be found so you can make it through to the next stage of the game. Think about it like this, at 7 people with 2 imposters alive, you need 1 kill in a secret location, and then set up a double kill to win the game. Alternatively, if there's four people with one imposter alive, you just need to get two kills back to back and time your sabotages correctly. Now imagine there's five people and one imposter. It's a lot harder to get three kills in a row without them finding the body or calling an emergency meeting. If you kill two crewmates and it comes down to a final three, there's a good chance you're getting voted out. Instead, kill one crewmate, go find an alibi, self-report, and convince them to skip on four. It's much easier to chain two kills and win instead of three. And Hafu always knows her win condition. She knows when she's going to be able to out-talk people during the meetings, and she knows when she needs to get enough kills to win the game. In the end, you can see by combining these three different principles, Hafu uses the Krufu strategy using narratives and storytelling to compel people to vote with her, using emotional tactics to get people voted out, and knowing her win condition. Afu knows when she's super sus and needs enough kills to just straight up win the game. Anyways, if you enjoyed hearing how Hafu does this, please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.